just bounce to this. Hello guys, right, house update. Um, I've not been on here for a, a while now because all building works, everything had to stop on the house because um, planning permission wasn't passed and I was as far as I could get demolishing the house before putting it back together. So um, yesterday, finally, planning permission got passed and um, we just took 12 weeks, would you believe? So we're coming out of summer, coming into winter now, um, but progress is starting to be made. So I'm down here at the house now. Um, we're coming into early September. As you can see by my drawn face, we are uh, a week out, 10 days out from the Olympia. A few days out from leaving uh, to go to Las Vegas, but um, I'm ready, can't wait for Vegas, but I cannot wait to get back and uh, see this house take shape, our uh, forever home. So um, I'm gonna quickly show you what's happening now. Uh, but first things first is the roof is going on. So scaffold is going up now and uh, exciting times. So yeah, there's not much obviously to, to look at, um, but we're going to go obviously two floors up. Just, just, just the whole roof next week is coming off and then it's going to go up like that. So it's going to go up again, third floor. Uh, it's going to be put up first and then we're going to have the double garage on the side wraparound extension next and then the porch the big glass porch going up three floors is going to finish and uh, yeah pretty excited hello right so we're six months into the build not a lot happened for the first five and a half months <laughs> um, but yeah progress is starting it's a bit scary so brace yourself for this Ta-da! So what's your thoughts, Amy? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of work. Yeah, so as you can see, there's no roof. That'll be going on in two days, so probably in the next slide or a few slides on, that will be done. Uh, yeah, it's just absolute mess at the minute. We've got to fill that, that skip and that skip tomorrow. Let's, let's go and have a look inside then. Hard hats. Hard hats at the ready. So that's going to be going, that wall. Open plan living. <laughs> to the extreme. <laughs> at least the weather's half decent for a few days. Wowzer. What have we done? <laughs> she's smiling, but really she's actually crying. Look at that. So we are going to go up another floor so that's why the roof is off guys just had to do all this block work the steel girders gone in everywhere morning guys right it's very early down here at Riverview our other house um, and uh, today's a big day because we're having the roof put on so it's gonna be <laughs> that's my builder in the background I don't know if you can see him being an absolute tool but no he's excited as well as me because we're gonna put the New roof on, which is going to be another layer. <laughs> so uh, it's an exciting day, and we're going to uh, film it all just to see the transformation. So everyone's on site now. We've already had a, already had a bit of a disaster. That guy there has uh, just snapped the TV uh, and phone line, uh, but it, all the phone lines are attached by that pole and that pole there. And that was a bit of a disaster. So 7.30 in the morning already. It's not a good start. Let's hope the rest of the day goes well though. It's not a good sign when all the builders are hiding over there. So that's 
the first truss going on. Excited. something what resembles a roof hello right house update um, as you can see it's slowly going on um, so we are up looking for when the trusses have turned up and as you can see it's coming together if you can see all the brickwork we've had to build the house up because we're going up another floor we need that height for head height so we're very posh brickwork uh, and then here is where we're going to have the French doors coming out onto the balcony. Yes, so we've had cancelled trains, we've had hotels cancelled and then rearranged somewhere else, haven't we, a different yeah, hotel, which we didn't book. Uh, we've had, what else we had? Oh, we've had pure sunshine all week. I know it looks bright now, but it's like gale force winds and set to have torrential rains. But we're still smiling, kind of. I'm smiling. Amy's been a bit angry this morning. <laughs> Very angry. That's why I put the camera on her so she'll keep smiling. <laughs> what do you want to say? We've got a fake happy face on because our journey went from bad to worse. Yeah. Um, we got told we could get on the train that we couldn't like get a, on. Yeah, like a substitute train because of the one we got cancelled. Uh, we got on that and then we were told by the train line we couldn't be on that train and it was going to be like silly silly prices because of it with no refund nothing so uh was to yeah winged it shall we say so we got halfway to london we got and then off. i panicked because i don't like doing anything wrong so we got off at peterborough and now we're on this train which has about 20 <laughs> stops to london which we're about 20 minutes from london but i think it's going to take us about an hour <laughs> We're laughing now, but I can promise you before I just had my chicken wrap, I was happy. Yeah, I think she was hungry as well, so I fed her, which I made this morning, which was quite good, wasn't it? It was lovely. Thanks to Muscle Foods for that, it was a decent chicken breast, yeah. a little plug, um, and then yes, hopefully no more shit. Hidden. Wee, there she is. <laughs> right, so where are we going? We are now going to um, see some friends. See some friends, and then we are going to watch Wicked. Wicked, but we're not going to film this because it's our night. So, uh, shoo. Bye bye. bye bye. Good morning. Good morning. Right, so what did we do last night? We went out drinking met my friends and it was probably the most alcohol we've had in about six years for me <laughs> terrible i was on but pints as well pints of beer for like a proper man we were drunk before <laughs> we even went into the theater but yeah. it was a brilliant night. it was amazing guys if you ever want to go and watch um a show or yeah it is a show isn't it yeah yeah i would recommend wicked it's not it's my brilliant. bag as in when you think about wizard of oz and all that but really really good one it yeah. really good awesome. but we're feeling a bit delicate today but we've got an all-you-can-eat buffet coming up so we're going to try and get our appetite up by sightseeing so where are we at we are at Buckingham palace we, yeah, we actually came here for your birthday a couple of years ago didn't we yeah we so we're trying to rekindle do. that it was a great weekend that was so yeah. we're just going to keep walking around to try and burn off a bit of the alcohol and make some space and for... breakfast we had breakfast yeah. i had quite a lot of cheese on toast <laughs> to try and soak up the alcohol. We're off season guys, I do normally eat clean but we're not at the minute, not till Christmas, we've got a couple more months of eating and then we'll start dieting for the wedding. Oh, 
and good old English weather prevails. That's Amy's take on an umbrella. Oh, this is miserable. Who's this fit little thing? Are we dried out yet? <laughs> and we're off to the net. Like drowned rats, we're out of the rain. Still smiling though, still smiling. Now we're smiling because we're going for something to eat, a lot to eat. Food. I'm going to film it as well so you can see all of it. So this is the most exciting part of the weekend, for me anyway. I mean, as you can see the Ned, there she blows, is full. I think it's like Sunday dinner, there's like seafood, there's all you can eat breakfast, there's everything. And we've Dessert. got two hours to eat what we can. I'm going to try and do my body weight in food. So let's go in. I've got my physio in there as well, Johnny, who's a good friend of mine. He's come to me and uh, challenged me to a food off. For the first plate, lobster, sausage roll, random sausage and bacon, eggs, avocado on toast with some ham. This will get messy. How you going on, babe? She's straight into dessert, look, not messing around. How you getting on, Johnny? <laughs> So that's it, uh, we caved on about four plates, five plates, it was amazing though, and uh, a must, if you're ever in London make sure you go and try, it's called the Ned, uh, it's very posh, but it's amazing, really really good. It's an old bank. Yeah, it's an old bank, so there's actually the, the big safe downstairs where you go to the toilet, to the john, um, but yeah, really smart atmosphere and the music playing live music, but very very nice. Uh, we've just got to the Shard, because that's something me and Amy have wanted to do. We've come to London quite a lot and we've never done it, so we wanted to do it. But we've just been turned away because the weather is not on our side and there's no visibility. So uh, there's no point going up for nothing. So we're thinking Madden Two Swords or Brave in the Rain and just going to get drenched and go have a look at some touristy outside sites. Like Big Ben. it's dark. Yeah. And it is starting to get dark and we've got about three hours till our train, so we'll see. See it? You absolute tool. <laughs> That's the, get away. That's the best four quid I've ever spent on you. <laughs> House update. Everyone's been asking on my YouTube, my social media, uh, about our private life and about the build. So, <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but it really is. But we're well excited because that is a new roof. Um, yeah. It's, it's been still, a long time coming, hasn't it? It has, yeah. And it's the first time it's waterproof in, what, seven weeks, nearly two yeah. months? So we, as you can imagine, it's done a lot of damage and we've been worried about it. So it's uh, good to see. The roof is on, um, we've got the Vilux windows around the back which we'll show you. Um, we're still deciding what we're going to do with the, the top floor aren't we? Yeah, well we'll go up and have a look and you'll understand why because it w wasn't that high before was it? Like no. as in... So we've got two extra rooms that we can, or, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, I think we're going to have a cinema room slash gym or two, two other bedrooms which is a bit excessive. So we'll see anyway, but imagine it's all being rendered white because it's horrible brick that is like 70s looking brick imagine where that glass is and the door 
that's coming out two meters and we're going to have a big glass porch so it's going to be white monocouche which is a fancy render glass porch and then we have a wraparound extension as well but we're not at that stage yet look at that look past the house sun setting oh the skip come on have a so look. romantical so here we have the is it third floor so yeah. this is where all the work's done the new roof uh, what's the plan in this room babe so oh. at first we didn't really know what to do we we're gonna make it into two bedrooms mm. but as it stands because it is literally just us two it seems a bit excessive to have six bedrooms yeah very excessive so we're gonna make it a bit more suited to our needs <laughs> so this side is just imagine we're gonna have a like a cinema projector screen big cinema screen yeah, yeah. and then we're gonna have a huge sofa that it kind of looks like a bed doesn't it it's like yeah. one big massive block made up of yeah of yeah it's just a big lounging sofa in it huge like a bed so we'll probably sleep up here yeah um, and then this and then we're gonna have an ensuite here so yeah. later down the line if we do want to turn it into two bedrooms which we probably will later down yeah. the line um we're gonna have an ensuite here so it's kind of the stairs come up, yep. the ensuite's here, and then we will partition it into two bedrooms either side. But for the time being, we've got cinema this side, bathroom, all one big open room, and then we're going to set up a gym area here. So Why not? Why, do you, do you go to the gym? Not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. But you've got to check this out, guys. Wait. Look at that. I know we keep showing this on most of the clips, but that's what we bought it for. Look at the river all the way down. And look, watching the sunset every night. Well, when it's not raining. Hello guys. Right, it's only me here, Amy's not here, but uh, it's a house update. So, as you can see in the background, all the scaffolding's gone. The new roof is on and the windows have been bricked up to the size we're going to have them. Um, it is starting to move quite quickly now, the build, um, we've got two to three people on site every day so it's moving quite quickly. All the scaffolding has come down but it's going to have to go back up one, when we render everywhere and have the, the front porch, you know how we talked about the big glass porch which is coming out two metres. It's all going to have to go back up which is a bit ad hoc taking it down and putting it back up. But the reason for that is we're starting the rear extension which is um, going to be quite a big extension. It's, it, I wanted it to be my gym slash office area but it's now going to be like kitchen diner thing I think. Um, but yeah that's being built and the garage on the side is being built in the next week, two weeks so I'm excited about that. We're on. Are we on? Yeah. Right. We're down here at Good Body's Gym. A local gym and today we're training back and I wanted to take you through this workout because I want to show how I train around certain injuries I've got a niggling injury to my hip uh, so a lot of today is going to be machine work uh, the first exercise is a wide grip pull down we've got a little variation on the grip uh, we're going to go for two warm up sets 20 reps on each set and then we're going for three working sets around the 8 to 10 reps with a triple drop at the end. Where are we at? Right, so moving on to the next two exercises, we're going to superset. We've got this machine row, which we're going to do um, a hammer curl grip, just for a bit more thickness, and then we're going to superset with behind the neck wide right pull down with a fat bar. So that's one improving your forearm strength and your grip strength, but also it's starting the width again. I'm not, as you'll see, I'm not going too heavy uh, with the weight on this. It, it can put a lot of strain on the neck if you go too heavy and compromise form. So this is more about uh, mind to muscle connection, getting blood volume, but not over um, compensating with the weight. Notice how 
I've got a little stretch forward to elongate your lats and stretch your lats out. It's one motion, no swinging, and hopefully try and pause for a second with the, uh, the peak contraction. So we're aiming for four working sets. We don't need to warm up because we've already warmed up on the first exercise. And then we're aiming for around 10 to 12 reps on each uh, machine, each exercise. No drops, no um, triple drops, or anything like that. Nice and basic, super set. Right guys, the next exercise is a weighted hyperextension. The reason I'm opting for this over um, uh, deadlift or deadlift, compound lift is because of my lower back injury and my hip um, groin injury. So we're playing it safe, uh, we're isolating the lower back, we're increasing the weight each rep, each set, sorry, all working sets, and then the last working set we're going to do a triple drop. So uh, 20 kg, which is about 45 pounds, uh, and then we're going to drop to own body weight to try and match the reps. Now we're moving away from the lower back and we're going back into thickness. We're going for uh, an overhand assisted machine row. Uh, the reason for that is we've done it underhand already, so we're going to overhand and just hits different parts of the back. Keeps the body guessing, uh, so let's get to it. We're going to do four working sets and then the last set we're going to do a rest pause set. I kept control on every rep, held it for a second, really squeezing. Um, this isn't about mass weight, this is just getting that peak contraction uh, and really feeling it. Now we're moving on to the last exercise, which is the cable lap pullover with a rope. Um, for me, I like to finish my back workout with this quite often because, again, it's not about weight, it's about spreading your lats and keeping constant uh, contraction throughout all the movement. Because it's on a cable, it's brilliant because on the eccentric and concentric part, it's constant tension. So with free weights or a bar, um, it's very easy to, to slack off on the eccentric part. Uh, whereas when you're on a cable, you have to control it the whole time. So it's not about mass weight, uh, lower the weight, more reps, just feel each rep as you go along. basic uh, back workout. As you can see there's no uh, free weights or compound lifts uh, because of the niggling injuries. I'm training smart, still hitting the sessions, still getting the food in, still hopefully making gains in my off season uh, but I'm not risking any further injury to my hip or my lower back. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Mm.